Ladies and gentlemen, we are from NCNU, National Jinan University, Taiwan. Now I will give you a talk about NCNU dedicated to develop green campus and renewable energy for environmental sustainability. The first author, Dong Xin Wu, is our president, and I'm the second author, Yi Zhong Liu, and the director of environmental protection and occupational safety and the health center. And the third author is Gu Fan Chen, the director of Department of Civil Engineering. Now I should introduce the settings and the infrastructure of NCNU. NCNU was established in 1995, which is located in Puli Town, the center of Taiwan. And the NCNU campus is about uh, 8 kilometers from uh, Puli downtown and with a linear distance of 5 kilometers. SNU is a uh, campus is at and play to with an altitude of more than 600 meters so making it the highest university of Taiwan and uh, we have a single campus with a total area of 115 hectares. NTNU ranks 5 percent of green university worldwide because of our long lasting effort to sustainable campus. SNU has four colleges, including College of Humanities, College of Management, College of Science and Technology, and College of Education. Uh, there are 6,300 students and with 900 staff and faculty number. And you can see the beautiful scene of NCNU, yes, from different view and different time. Yeah, this figure you can see there are many birds, very large birds flying in the sky. Oh, sorry, it is a uh, nine kite. Yes, uh, NCNU holds a kite festival every year. And uh, talking about the SDGs, United Nations, NCNU do many things to be the provider of social care and environmental friendly activities and education of sustainable development and we also do a lot of job to be a practitioner of university social responsibility and later we should be a leader in uh, community buildings so this is our vision for sustainability development our campus is surrounded by a natural and ecological diversity and has a ratio of green cover of 89%, including equally 40% of forest and planted vegetation. These are borders of forest and the planted vegetation. And we always have valued and attracted great success in carbon reduction, environmental education, and ecological conservation. The total area on campus for water absorption besides the aforementioned forest and the planted vegetation is 24 hectare, which accounts for 16% of the area of the campus. The budget of the university for sustainability efforts was 19.6 million US dollars in 2020, which occupies a primary extent mainly 40% of the total university budget. About the energy saving and the renewable energy development, SCNU has been long been dedicating to energy saving and the carbon reduction, and as a result, the annual electricity uh, consumption has decreased each year. And we have provided in place in the electrical plants with these green marks. In fact, more than 99% of NCNU operators have such a green mark. Yeah, the operators include air conditioner, electric fan, fluorescent tube, indoor lighting lamp, refrigerator, and laptop computers, desktop computers, uh, printers, and a copy machine, and so on. So a product with this uh, mark has uh, energy efficiency, which is 
10 or 15 higher than the national certification standard. So it gives promotion quality, power saving, and the energy serve. Yeah, we can see the annual electricity consumption uh, as 40.3 million kilowatt hour on 2013 and the decrease to 11.4 million kilowatt hour on 2020 with a reduction of energy consumption about nearly 20 percent so we conserve the many and the many uh, powers so the results is very uh, promising and we have a total carbon footprint to uh, Kepler's population so was 0.77 ton per person. NCNU has actively increased the use of renewable energy on campus. We have already signed a contract with uh, Nanto County government for Green Roof National Participation Job and the constructed solar power generation equipment. Now presently, the solar power generation capacity is about 3.77 million kilowatt hour and the estimated supply for annual power assumption ratio is 40%. In addition to that, we also have the wind power system and the micro uh, hydroelectric power system and the regenerative energy device installed in the elevator. You can see this about the water resource management. Now it currently has building rainwater recycling system, underground water collecting tanks and the electrical pools in place. In fact, all the building built in 2009 and later have a rainwater recycling system to collect the rainwater for water in purpose. And the reclaimed water recycling system, which include two ecological pools, namely the sun pool, sun pond, and the moon pond, which are accident rainwater recycling system. So we uh, deal with the domestic sewage and the rain, re, uh, rainwater to make it fresh to reuse it again. So currently it has 600 cubic meter domestic uh, waste water produced by daily by the university staff and the students. And this water are first treated to become the water quality uh, which has fit the regulation law for the uh, environmental protection. Yeah, so for the purpose uh, other than drinking and the human contact. The daily recycle water amount is 480 uh, cubic meter, and uh, this is reused for toilet brushing, gardening, ground uh, sparkling, and the tree watering, and others. Yes, from the fountain. So the treatment of the water recycling plant is about 80%. In 2019, the Sun Pond Butterfly Habitat Cultivation Activity was carried out. Teachers and the students were invited to plant the nectar rich plants and the herbivorous plants yeah, together. And a total of 400 plants or 13 species were planted. The reclaimed water. Uh, ir uh, stored in some pond was used to irrigate the surrounding vegetation to provide food and habitat for butterfly. Yes, yeah, the butterfly cultivation activity and the further increased the value of reclaimed water like this. Uh, about the ecological conservation, according to the results of the ecological survey conducted in 2018, 112 species of butterfly in five family were observed on campus. So after the construction of butterfly habitats in 2018, another survey was conducted. So we found uh, 113 body flies, including 22 species, would be observed yeah, during a 30 minute survey in the habit butterfly habitats. So uh, this result shows the constructed habitat attract more butterflies to, to stay in these habitats. 
Now I will show you a uh, ten minutes uh, fins for the butterfly flying in the habitat. Yes, just near the sun pond. NCNU has a precious species, Taiwan pangolin. Yes, on the campus, which belongs to an uh, endangered animal. And the NCNU has a rich in bio, uh, ecological environment of low elevation mountains. And I think NCNU is the unique university uh, where pangolin can be frequently observed on campus. And NCNU has long been committed to promoting the pangolin conservation and the rescue work include the long-term monitoring and the survey like this and uh, we will also make a friendly climbing step like this and we post reminder signs to remind the passing by to pay attention to pangolin campus okay this hands-on man is our president dr wu Oh, and with another young scientist, they are installing a tracking apparatus on the pangolin for a long-term monitoring. After installing the tracking apparatus, we set the pangolin free around the uh, sewage planted. Yes, because that place uh, we can uh, frequently observe pangolin in that place. About the conclusion, NCNU ranked the 31st place yeah, in UI Green Metrics World University ranking on 2021st. Since NCNU is located in the area with the beautiful environment and the diverse uh, ecology, so we are responsible to develop a sustainable and eco-friendly campus. Recently, more power uh, solar power field are under construction and uh, with a total of 8178 peak kilowatt system with a 10 million powder generation capacity will be operated in 2024 which will account for 88 percent to annual power uh, consumption so the Solar power system plays an important role on net zero emission policy of NCNU before 2043. And the more rainwater recovery system will be built and the reclaimed water will be introduced to water rainwater recovery system for irrigation and for toilet flushing. Additionally, more butterfly habitats will be constructed and the habitats for uh, Taiwan pangolins will be protected to help this precious uh, spicy uh, safe and uh, sustainable living environment. Finally, NCNU will continue to make more efforts to achieve a better green university. Yes, thank you very much uh, for your attention, ladies and gentlemen.